We're in our first week of hurricane season, fittingly called Hurricane Preparedness Week. And when you think of a hurricane, most folks probably think just mainly wind, but it's the rising water that could actually be the most deadly and costly. Consumer investigative reporter Bill McGinty is here now with why flood insurance is so overlooked, and especially in a housing market where people are buying so fast because of little inventory. We're asking, are people really being diligent with that big purchase? Yeah, you know, Vanessa, it's the housing market this year that puts that strange little twist on this story. People are in bidding wars over properties and they're paying in some cases $50,000 over the asking price. They're jumping awfully fast. But are these buyers double checking the little things, which sometimes can be the very big things? Like is the property a risk for flood? Let's start with just one fact. Just one inch of rising water can cause $25,000 in damages. And that's just an inch. And you don't need a hurricane to cause that kind of damage. Foot of water. Water in our house again. I met Jeff Kahn last summer when a block city of Charlotte storm drain flooded his home nine times. Jeff doesn't live in a designated flood zone, yet it happened. Homeowners said that this is not their problem. Last summer, I also helped a family that was getting water from a nearby housing development that was under construction in Tiga Cay. Their home didn't flood, but their property sure did. In Mecklenburg County alone, there are approximately 2,900 homes and businesses located in a floodplain. Although many of these homes and businesses are built above the 100-year flood level, the county says many are impacted during large rain events. So do you live in one? Mecklenburg County has this interactive map so that you can see if your property is at risk for flood. A good resource to check before you buy. Flood insurance is a national program, but you can buy policies through carriers, maybe even yours. But you have to inquire about it. In North Carolina, the average cost of a yearly flood policy, $814, just $68 a month. In South Carolina, it's a little bit cheaper, $671 a year. Steve Shatner is with the Compass Agency. Is it out of pocket for most people? Completely out of pocket. Yeah, there's nothing. There's no coverage in any policy that with any carrier. Um, it's all national flood. So if you don't have flood insurance, you've just got absolutely nothing. And the definition of flood is rising water. So water that comes up. So, you know, if you have a pipe burst or if you have, you know, something like that, that's covered because that's basically water coming down. But any water that's rising uh, is not covered. It's also landslides and mudslides. One last tip, waiting until there's a storm circling on the radar won't help you. Policies are not written once a storm gets a name, and it's usually after that a 30-day wait. So here's a look at the map that I mentioned. The link is actually very clever to look at. It's a this is Mecklenburg County's link, but most counties have something similar to this so that you know if your property is in a floodplain. If you want to see Mecklenburg counties, I put it in the web script and you can find it over on WCNC.com. Guys, I'm going to send it back to you now. All right, Bill, thank you.